Hey everybody, Bennett from the Bonnet Podcast and welcome to Print to Pitch. This is our series where we have a look at everything 3D printed for Blood Bowl, star players, teams, stadiums, if we can print it and put it on the pitch. That's kind of what we're going to do. Now, we've got a cool little one for you now. Punga have a Patreon. Punga are one of the premier Blood Bowl third party companies. They have a Patreon. Every month they release STLs. Most months it's part of a team. Normally they do a two month cycle of part one of the team, then part two of the team. Then normally they'll drop the support staff month now that is exactly what we're looking at here so a few months ago they dropped their sea orcs the battle cuders team i think that's the first time i've ever been able to say that correctly anyway they dropped their sea orcs team with a bit of a pirate theme very very cool range of models and now they've completed it with some star players and some staff so let's have a look at the models All right, so the release for this month from Punga is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different models. You know what? There's one model on there I've not really paid attention to. Um, so when it comes to Blood Bowl, we're looking for star players. Cheerleaders, wizards, coaches are all brilliant, fun models. But we prioritize players that go on the pitch, right? That's just instinctively how we go. If we buy something, if we print something, if we paint something, we want to get some use out of it so from this kit there's a few models here that i think we really need to focus on and oh i love these models the first one is this guy here so this is uh i can't remember what they've called it in the in the in the pack in their support kit this is varag right this is a star player blitzer sea orc the sea orc star player blitzer blitzer star player and <laughs> It just gets so good from here. So Punga have a tendency to lean really hard into a theme, whether it is pirates or circus or chaos, like they did with their halfling team the other week. They lean in hard, and they've done a great job with this guy here. So similar in uh, proportions and styling to the actual team itself, but has got some key Varag Gultua details. Now, first and foremost is that he's a big old chap. He's a big old blitzer and he's got plenty of pirate theme. He's got the pirate hat. He's got the kind of like side beard and he's got a big um, shark or whale bone like face mask, which is a really cool way to kind of play into the nautical theme. But because he's Varag Gultua, he's got an undead beastie strapped to his side now in this case he's got two old tusks which i'm assuming are some sea teeth uh, i imagine when we actually look at the model properly we'll be able to kind of figure out exactly what that's meant to be yeah big old tusks and you've got a skeleton strung between them so he's got a, a kind of a big amount of posture to him as it as makes sense being a star player now the next model that we're kind of going to look at is not a star player although this is the cool thing. So when it comes to building or brewing and printing big guy models, you are going to get use out of them. Now, I think with this model was covered. We might have talked about this model when we did our top five troll models because the Punga trolls are almost without fail. Brilliant fun. Now, this one has got a heavy nautical theme. OK, he's got a crab claw. He's got webbed fingers. He's got a shark that I, must, I kind of think he's wearing as a cloak which means if you've got any kind of mutated or water-based team, this guy is absolutely perfect. And if not, it's a pretty fun take for Ripper. You need a star player troll model, here's something special. So I like that one as well. And then oh, you always need a chainsaw. I don't know, it's the star player orc chainsaw. I think what it used to be called, Ripper? Ripper? I think there was two Rippers. I think it was confusing. I don't think he's been released yet, but we do have uh, old um, Wolf Boy, so um, Helmet Wolf, so you can use him in every team. So every team has access to a star player, a star player chainsaw. Uh, the Orc team, well, I say the Orc team, Orcs, Black Orcs, and, and those kind of lads have also got access to Nobler now. I don't think this guy would make a great Nobler, but I think he'd be perfect for Helmet Wolf on an Orc or Greenskin team. And can we just appreciate the nautical theme here? So the chainsaw, nothing. Literally nothing nautical about the chainsaw. It is just a big orc chainsaw. So like 20 points for that. But the kind of like nautilus equipment helmet is just awesome. They've got the anchor on the belt, sure. But other than that, it's just an orc with 
a old school submariner helmet and a massive chainsaw so that's wicked too and the last kind of key piece from this release that we're kind of going to look at is the <laughs> is the bomber and it is just awesome so you have got a goblin with goggles flying on a rocket he's got a mohawk and he's got captain epaulets it is just awesome and the actual model with like the massive blast rocket it's just excellent too so not only is this a good model for bomber dribble snot if you're still running him oh, topical uh, it's a pretty cool take on the pogo as well because he's clearly bouncing around he's clearly doing the leap action so really cool model as well so there's kind of four really brilliant models in this kit but you also get some really great support staff models too first and foremost is the goblin captain uh, ooh, what's the name of the company that does goblin pirates black scorpion black scorpion do a range of fantasy pirates this guy would fit in beautifully with that so if it's just awesome okay if you're looking for a captain for your team he's got gold perfect great for a bribe marker as well so big fan of that you've got a wizard shaman here on the side with a big old alligator wrapped around him and just <sighs> He's got Savage Orc Shaman vibes, which is pretty sweet. You've got an Apothecary here too with like Butcher's Cleaver ready to go. And the model that made me laugh because I, I hadn't really paid attention to it is this weird underwater squig thing. Now, I'm a big fan of squigs, especially with like a, a squig team being released in the last couple of months. This is brilliant. I want more of this weird... I don't know what... The, I just It looks like that weird undersea race from D&D, &D, but in squig form. And it's awesome. So uh, there's some cool support models in there, but we've got a star player troll, a star player orc blitzer, a star player chainsaw, and a star player rocket lad to look at. Okay, so time to look at the STLs. This is a Ponga release, so it is fully supported. But we're going to look at the sculpts before we look at the pre-supports. And we're only going to focus on the four that we've kind of picked out because they're just the best right here we go we've got uh star player orc warlord so this is your not varag now every time we look well because we've looked at the sea orcs a few times now they hit a beautiful balance of detail and open space and the cool thing about that is we're living in the golden age of painting like you've got speed paints and contrast and just everything is an absolute doddle like the uh their their punga like the punga chaos halfling team was an absolute beautiful painting task that took no time at all and this has got the same level of detail which is it's got a nice basic canvas but with some excellent details that you can pick out quickly or if you are um, painting pro you can add all kinds of stuff so this would not take very long to paint okay you've got some good detail you've got the leather bits you've got the little buckle there you've got the rope you've got the, the the kind of fabric you've got all the spikes and the skulls and everything you've got all the detail and it's kind of expressively over exaggerated in some places particularly the face and stuff which means that with a, a bit of a dry brush or a bit of a contrast that detail is going to pop with minimal effort which makes me very happy because that's quicker to get your team painted and, and that's going to look better for you on the pitch but if you love a good paint job, these open spaces are just perfect for doing checks, for quarters, for hearthing, for freehanding on the, 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 the flag. There's just a lot of stuff you can do with this, and it doesn't ask a lot of you in the first place, which I think makes it a really kind of balanced model so uh punga do their pre-supports um i kind of always flag this out that their pre-supports are a bit thick uh but they will do the job brilliantly i will say that these pre-supports they've done a really really nice job of keeping the point of contact nice and thin so these will have that beautiful feeling so if you print this off you're going to be able to just twist and tear which is a wonderful feeling when you printed a model because it just goes brrr, just kind of tears away it's very satisfying and you end up with a model that is particularly unblemished and i believe these models are used the punga pre-supports as well so while they're a little bit chunkier than what you could do yourself they work 
and they leave you with a beautiful finished model as well so that is the orc warlord who are we going to have a look at next let's go for the chainsaw and we're not going to bother looking at the pre-supports for the chainsaw we don't need to we've kind of seen it already right here's our chainsaw lad and everything we've just said about the captain is true of this guy as well there's not a ton of detail it's just really well done areas that are going to paint up really nicely you got that big old meaty chainsaw as well which is pretty lovely and i think if we bang him in the center there we can zip around and have a look at the detail on the face <laughs> and this this model I, I really really like because it kind of gives me that second edition 40k vibe like or second edition blood bowl vibe where orcs just had big faces that they would squeeze in places that just makes no sense if you're a dog owner or a cat owner you'll understand what this is like you've got something that's just pure excitement and they will fit in places they have no right fitting in. This dude's head fits that box better than his face fits that fishbowl. And again, you got a nice little bit of detail ticking around there that means a little dry brush, a little contrast, and your model's gonna be on the pitch, ready to go in not a lot of time at all. Right, it's time for the Goblin Rocketeer, I think. And this is a brilliant model. It is completely unnecessary, like straight up, there is no need for this model and there's no need for it to be the way it is. And that's just, that just makes it cool and special. You know, it's easy to grab a goblin, stick a bomb on him and call him a bombardier. What they've done is they've grabbed a bomb and stuck a goblin on it and called him a bombardier. And this is just brilliant. It's cartoony, it's exaggerated. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but the dude is surfing on a big, pirate i think the the fins the flight fins these here look like they're actually just made of planks of wood so and yeah this is made out of a beer barrel exploding that's excellent he's got oh that's genius so you can see plenty of detail and and you kind of got that no this one's actually got a nice bit of surface texture all over you've got the hair you've got the epaulets you've got the bombs in his backpack and that rocket is just the absolute star of the show for this so very, very, very cool model. And the last one we'll look at before we look at the prince is... Where's my big troll? Where's my troll? Troll pirate alternative. And this is wicked. So first of all, you can see that he is... Oh, because of the profile, that's brilliant. You can see he's got um, the kind of shark mouth mask that the, 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 the Blitzer has as well. But when you look at him inside on, because he's kind of wearing this hammerhead shark cloak... It works brilliantly and just him making him look like a shark player. I like the webbing on the hands and I like the claw. So this is going to do a wonderful job of being a star player troll, definitely. But also if you if you're in the market for a kind of mutated troll, so underworld or whatever, um, then this is going to work brilliantly too. And if you want to paint up a shark, this is the best way to do it. Okay, let's have a look at the prints. So I printed these out, I believe, with the Punga Pre support, and I think it was on the Saturn 2. It could have been the Mars 2 Pro, I don't know. But at 0.04 layer height and standard settings with standard resin, you don't need anything better. Right, so this is the Orc Blitzer. And I think we could probably do with zooming out ever so slightly, uh, because these are not the smallest models, not by a long shot. There we go. Got some reasonable focus there. Uh, okay, so um, what base have I put him on? He's a big lad, so I've put him on a 40 mil base. So you can see all of the detail has come up beautiful. All I've done is given him a quick prime with white. Uh, I was going to do the contrast to kind of pick out the detail, but the white seems to be working at the moment. White on a black background seems to be doing okay, and I'm fine with that because it picks out that top level de top level detail that i was talking about when we looked at the sdls you don't need a ton of detail for this guy he is big but he is reasonable so kind of you can see all the stuff you can see he's got a cool cloak you can see he's got cool corner detail on the cloaker as well you can see there's a i think i've got a couple of pock marks which is my fault for not cleaning up the supports very well but i mean it's pretty much a perfect print and it comes pre-supported and you're just kind of good to go right it's size time so we've got our typical strength three player here we've got the nobility thrower and comparing him to uh the pirate version 
of Varag. I don't know why they've not given him like a name like, I don't know, Seafarer or Sea Chewer. Anyway, it's it's a big lad, right? 40 mil base, you can see the overhead shot and you can see him line up to that. And actually, you're good to go. It's not a problem. He's plenty big enough but without actually being so massive that he causes an issue. Remember, he's going to be your star player blitzer. So you can have him as uh, just a blitzer on your team and he's going to be a special, special chap. Realistically, though, you're going to be running him as Varag, you're going to be running him as a troll, you're going to be running him as somebody who's strength 5. And he looks strength 5, without being so massive that he is unwieldy. Um, I've got the uh, the orange, bright flipping orange, according to this camera, Ogre from the Dungeon Bowl set. And he lines up nicely with an Ogre. So if you're kind of thinking, how big is he? He's bigger than an Ogre. He's, got, he's burlier than an Ogre, I think is probably the best way to say it. So... I guess the last thing I want to say about this model before we move on is I've really started loving easy paint models and you kind of you can you can kind of look at this and you just know that it's not going to take a huge amount of work to paint this up and have him ready for the pitch and that makes me very excited so uh, that is pirate dude sorted let's go for the troll now because everybody loves a big guy and here we go we've got the troll and this is such a fun model i think milton who has a a thing for sharks in blood bowl and orcs was over the moon with this because you can see all of the sharky goodness you've got cool little netting so there's plenty of like good textures good rope texture there as well and, and you've got the teeth i'll tell you what we'll, we'll zoom in ever so slightly and see if we can't get a nice shot of this guy's face because um it is a very cool sculpt there we go, look at that. And you can see, uh, I think there's a few pop marks from the pre-supports, but that's nothing too serious. <laughs> but you've got great tooth detail, great skin detail. It's just a really cool model. Now, I think it's important that we call out the size of this guy, though, which is annoying because that means I'm going to have to go auto, zoom out again, because we're going to bring in another model of similar ilk. So um, if you've looked at the team the full team release you'll know they've got just an awesome awesome troll and it's this lad and this troll is massive okay he is big it works though okay here's the ogre he is the first shark troll from the the uh, the sea orc release and i kind of was expecting this to be of a similar size he's actually quite a bit smaller so if you want him to match up with this guy so potentially your um you know double printing the the goblins to make a goblin team i don't know just want him to match you're going to need to upscale him probably 115 percent to make sure that he's as big as this troll but as it comes for the size of this guy on his own against a strength three player he's plenty big enough i've put him on a 40 more base and <laughs> just the hammerhead shark on the pitch is just wicked so it's a great little model it's not that little uh compared to varag he's a little bit well, he's bigger than Varag. He's bigger than the Pirate Orc captain, so he's probably about right. But if you want him to match the other troll, then you need to scale him up a bit. Right, it's Chainsaw time, and I, I love this model. I love all of these models that we're looking at. They're just so much fun that I want to paint them and put them in a display because they're just they're just awesome. And because they're star players, you can do a little bit extra. Like you can quickly like contrast the skin, contrast the trousers, black the shoes, paint the armor, paint the chainsaw dry brush whatever and, and he's and, and he's ready but you can also spend some time like i said kind of going a bit orc doing some checkers and some dags and some teeth and just having a great time painting these models and I, I want to spend more time doing that kind of stuff because this is just a really cool canvas so chainsaw 32 mil base there and put him up against a strength three player it works He's big. He's a big orc. He's a big orc carrying a big chainsaw. So you expect him to be big. But he is not massive to the extent that he's going to cause a problem. And it doesn't look odd. Like, it doesn't look odd. He's your star player chainsaw. He's going to be big because he's carrying a big chainsaw. So, again, scaling on that one, perfect. And here we go. Last, but by absolutely no means least, we've got the rocket goblin. And even with a very lazy priming coat you can see they're like the detail is awesome especially on this smoke the smoke is so dynamic with no work like I, I don't even i can't even stress like how good this looks 
without actually having doing anything to it, which is brilliant. Now, it is a big jet wash. I've chucked him on a 32 mil base. Um, from a size point of view, he's bigger than a 30. Uh, bigger than a kind of your typical strength three piece. But I, I really like the way they've done it because you can't really see. It, he kind of overtowers your normal strength three players. So if you've got him lined up against another model, even Varag here, because of the way he's kind of curled out, he's going to basically, even though he's got all this dynamism, he's positioned really well so that he's going to stick up over a model. So here's one of my uh, converted slan players with the, the beer mugs ready for ready for our seventh draft. And he kind of just sticks out over the model, which works perfectly. So scale wise, he's great. He's a goblin. The goblin's a little on a small side, but goblins in this edition feel a bit smaller because everyone else's scale got increased but actually he's a special goblin riding around on a flying barrel of death so if he's a little smaller i don't know maybe those kind of goblins just have a much smaller life expectancy but when it comes to the cloud work it's just awesome and i love that we play a game where we can get models like this on the pitch And that is basically the highlights of the support staff of the Sea Orc team for the Punga guys. It's just wicked. Um, it's not full of stuff, but if you think about one month of Patreon, Punga is like £10 or something. And you get four brilliant star player models and four great accessory models as well. It's it's brilliant value. The STLs are great. We're going to have these up on the shop soon as well. So if you don't uh, have a 3D printer, um, you can just pick them up from us. And, I don't know, they, they've just done a really good job. Punga are on one at the moment. The Sea Orc release was brilliant. The Chaos Halfling release was brilliant. And these star players are brilliant too. Every one of these models just inspires me to paint. And that is awesome. And very usable. So, absolutely brilliant release. Again, from Punga. And uh, hopefully you agree. Do let me know in the comments what you think. And hey, I'm going to wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more of our content. Happy printing. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions. Or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things. We've got tokens and stuff like that. Or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking.